she and Ike Turner got uh, nominated and inducted in the early 90s, and then she got in in 2019. Stevie Nicks is the only other female artist to be in there twice with her band and by herself. But uh, it's funny, if you... <laughs> If you Google information on Tina Turner, one of the questions, you know, Google offers a bunch of different questions that are ostensibly frequently asked. One of the questions was, who is the black woman in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? <laughs> and the answer, Aretha Franklin. Yeah. Mm, how do you like that? Uh, so, uh, you know, there are no shortage of black women in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, uh, much to the chagrin of some fans of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But uh, Aretha Franklin, according to Google, that AI is killing it, is uh, Aretha Franklin. Show some R-E-S-P-I-C-T. Right. So, um, yeah, one year ago today she died. Proud Mary, a great song, too. Like, she, that was, John Fogarty wrote that. It was originally a, a Credence song, and it was slow, and people remember Proud Mary from John Fogarty. But she and Ike Turner covered it a few years later and sped it way up and turned it into this thing, and it was, it was, uh, equally as big of a hit as Credence had with it, and to the extent that a lot of people thought that it was a Tina Turner song. They thought that she had written it. Um, but uh, John Fogarty still gets the money from that. Credence Clearwater Revival is one of Brian's favorite bands. One of my wife's so favorite bands. that's on all the time. Yeah. I call it his old man music. Just like 70s was easy rock, I guess. Well, it's, you it's, know? Cl it's classic rock. Yeah. I mean, it's it's like great. It's It was great protest music. It was back when there were protest songs. And yeah, so love Credence. His daughter, Blake, uh, is eight. She knows Proud Mary by Credence. Yeah. And she asked me to play it one time and I put on Tina Turner. And she was like, this is not it. Like, I do not like this. And I was like, you don't like this version? And then I put on the original one. I'm like, this one sucks. Like, this <laughs> this is, one sucks. This is old man music. The Tina Turner one's so much more fun. There's you know? a great uh, concert documentary on Netflix. Jeff Bridges narrates it. And it's Credence, uh, Credence at the Royal Albert Hall in England. And Credence Clearwater Revival famously signed one of the worst record contracts in history. They were this massive band, but they had basically signed all of it away. So, like, John Fogarty wasn't, you know, he was the main guy. He was writing the songs. He was singing them, him and his brother and a couple of other guys. And a lot of acrimony when that band split up. But um, it was a long time before John Fogarty started making money on his own song because of that record deal. They're all dead, right? No, John Fogarty is very much alive. He just did Bill Maher's podcast. I think his brother passed away. But the band's I think not Tom going Fogarty. out anymore. Well, for a while they called it, because of the legal ramifications of calling it one thing or another, they called it Creedence Clearwater Revisited. Oh. I think that was him. and But I remember if it was him and some other guys or the other guys, I don't know. But he had a very successful solo career, too. So he would go out and play those songs because yeah. he wrote them. He can, he can play them, yeah. But the other guys were like, thought that John Fogarty was too controlling. And his thought was, well, I'm writing all the songs and I'm singing them. So, you know, but I think he did maybe, there was one Credence album when he said, okay, fine, you guys write the songs. Yeah. And they stunk. Mm -hmm. So he was kind of vindicated in that way. But um, when his brother quit, they were going to replace him. And then they thought, well, we'll just... You know, let's just continue as a trio. But there was a lot of acrimony in that. But I love Credence. I think they're great. I don't John Fogarty them. is like an... I like I, until he got all political. <laughs> until he got all political. <laughs> I just like old lefties. Yeah. Because those are people who haven't... They still kind of have remained idealistic, you know, all, con uh, all evidence to the contrary. I just like that. People who are, um, you know, they haven't gotten older and swung over to all that, you know, right-wing hooey. And he's one of those guys, boy. Hey, Luke. Yo, good afternoon, guys. Hate the show. Thank you, Luke. What's up? <laughs> Not much. Hey, just uh, circling back to the uh, the Super Size Me debate over here versus uh, organic versus processed foods. I, I literally could not even imagine eating organic food. It's literally just some crap they found on the ground somewhere. Right? Uh, processed food is literally designed for you to eat. It's it's way better by miles, and I think everybody should be eating that consistently. Thank you. Well, I assume you're talking about uh, you're making the distinction between things that preserve produce and processed foods. 
No, just processed foods. Oh, you th- you think oh, people yeah. people should be living on townhouse crackers and Twinkies? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will it's say this: I the body, good for the soul. I tried to buy the go the organic route for a while, mm-hmm. and yes, it's more expensive. But I tried it, and I'm like, my biggest complaint is, and this is a check in the yes column for preservatives, mm-hmm. is that you got to eat it like that day. You're shopping four days a week. Yes. Yeah. And so organic food is great for people who like to go and get their food every day. Yeah. Because they're going to cook it and eat it or chop it and eat it or you whatever. But otherwise, I go, I'm like, why am I paying more for this? Yeah. Like, I understand the big picture of okay so luke your favorite processed food that you just chow down on and you feel like a king afterwards is what definitely just uh mcdonald's uh quarter pounder you know you just leave it on the <laughs> counter for a week and a half and yeah. it's still good you come back to it yeah it's just as good as it was you gotta one. microwave it with a oh, wet God. paper towel so the bun gets uh, yeah soft again uh, <laughs> a quarter so. pounder i have to assume with cheese oh yeah with that yellow plastic that they drape over mm-hmm. that patty. Right. Okay, yeah, we well, listen. Government cheese. Uh, Luke, if you live through the weekend, have a good one, okay? Yeah, you guys too. Take it uh, easy. There you go. I, it is a long holiday weekend, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I keep forgetting we're out on uh, Monday for the Memorial Day weekend. Uh, certainly for people who uh, pay attention to Memorial Day, doesn't seem like something that... <laughs> To really celebrate, but um, more of a more of a somber holiday, really. But it is also the. Um, I thought this was the weekend for the air show, but I think that's Labor Day. That's, right? Labor, that's Day. Labor Day. Okay. This is the Rib this Fest. Is rib yeah. cook off. Yep. Oh, that's where Mary's going to be tonight. I literally have their page pulled up right now, and I'm looking at like, what's going on? Are you going to go see Boaterhead? There are friends on. in Boaterhead are playing. I think that might be that's tomorrow on Sunday night. Or Sunday night. night. Okay. Mm. The Miss Bria pageant, Back to the Future, Jam Machine, and then yep. Boaterhead is Sunday. I wonder why Bridget, you know, Bridget Linton was in for Mary yesterday, and we were talking about pageants, and Bill is judging a Miss around the corner, and Bridget's always off doing Miss Ohio. <laughs> and Miss. Did you not know though about this? No. Oh, he didn't tell. He specifically didn't tell you. No. I didn't. I didn't mention it until yesterday, and she wasn't here yesterday. I, okay, I'm not keeping it. For put her. a pin in that. <laughs> um, what? So. <laughs> I wonder why she wasn't out there hosting, why Bridget wasn't out hosting Miss Berea. Why would she? Because she's got uh, the Ohio. The bigger, Miss oh, Miss Ohio. Ohio. Okay, yeah. yeah. So she's kidding. Let me she's... give away this money, and then we'll circle back around to this, okay? Oh this is $1,000. Um, uh, you only have a couple of these left before we put this on a shelf uh, for a few weeks. It's a grand right now from the Buzzard Bookie. Good luck. This is your chance to bet with the Buzzard Bookie and win $1,000 now. Enter this nationwide keyword at WMMS.com. Grand. That's grand. Enter it now at WMMS.com. Now, as a former pageant girl yourself. Contestant. Pageant. What what are those people called? They're not called contestants. Just contestants? Yeah. There's no inside lingo? Like, no. oh, I was a pageanter for a long time. No. I don't know. Something, <laughs> no. Some things have their own language. Yeah, you know no, I mean? no, not at all. Pageant contestant. No, Bill mentioned yesterday he and Bridget um, thought very differently about what the criteria should be for judging a contestant. She wants somebody out there with poise and confidence mm-hmm. and somebody blah, blah, blah. And Bill's thought was... Drunk, hot, and loud? No. <laughs> no, oh. he said, why do I want to give... I can see both That of girl's them. already doing fine. Okay. Why do so I want to give... girl's out there and she's kind of timid and she's like, oh, no, what should we doing this? That's who I'm going to give my votes to. His thought is, why do I want to give more accolades to a girl who gets them all the time? He's going for the underdog. I think if you're in it, you should be in it to win it, and nobody needs a shrinking violet in a stupid beauty pageant. Those type whatever. of girls don't enter them either. Anyway. Well, I guess we'll find out. No, I've never seen a shy person in a beauty pageant. That's the thought, okay? But <laughs> this is Miss Around the Corner. Which is going to be drunk, loud bitches. I don't know what, what it's going to be. I know it starts at 11 p.m. I have I don't... both participated in and judged bar beauty contests. Well, they were bikini contests. They're not really beauty pageants. Well, this is, but... yeah, you this also is a know cocktail that... dress and then a bikini Swimsuit round. You also realize that everything you just described is only sweetening the deal <laughs> for young for young Bill Squire oh over here. God. So so he and Pants and Tommy are going to be the judges. Do you know if you're the only judges? I do not know. He volunteered them yeah. for this. Of course he did. Because I thought it'd be fun. 
Now I had Is never. That what it was? It's you hilarious. It would be fun. It's hilarious. I had never heard of it before. <gasps> it's the fifteenth annual. Yeah. There's a lot of bars that do this. Mm-hmm. Okay. A bar that I worked at did this. And so you're speaking from experience, drunk, loud, and you know, yes. whatever. Now, did they do cocktail and swimsuit? Just swimsuit. Okay. From what I remember. But <coughs> it's not like a full-blown pageant where you have like a talent no, round they, and they, they ask you questions. Well, that's what like I that. didn't know. No. Well, then what is it? it? You literally, who looks the hottest in a bikini? And it's dirt bags like this guy is at least judging on, your body. Is it least on a dais? Yeah, but nobody's forcing these girls to go no, into this. No, and that's I the mean, thing. They want to be judged. You're, it's When you're doing it, you're like, I either am very confident, I have a hot body, I want to show off. Which is why and I want to And they have found the right guy. That's why I want to mix things up a little bit. I'm not even laughing like I can't believe you're doing this. I'm laughing that it took this long. <laughs> like that you well, is this your this first beauty time. pageant that you're judging, Bill? Yeah. Oh, it is. I call it a personality pageant. Do not call this a beauty pageant. This is not Why? Because it's not what it is. Well, aren't they looking for the attra- most attractive to, woman in there? To Bridget's point, from what you've summarized, beauty pageants are about more than just being attractive. It is about how you carry yourself and how you answer the questions. That's what I'm trying like, to bring to it. No, you are no, not. No, no, no. That, but that's what I told her yesterday. I said, she's coming from the pageant world. Right. So where don't the call standards this a pageant. Are, well, but in the strictest sense, that is what it, what's the other word for it? A contest. Well, what's a like a bikini pageant. contest. A pageant, that's that's just a semantic No, because pageantry d- has like some, uh, like an air of... Ah, I see. Sophistication. Yes. Yeah, they pretend. Yes. They, they, they pretend. It is about looks and it is about... Everyone knows what it's about at the basis, but so they you're do talking more about to it with pageantry. Dressage versus just riding a horse. Correct. <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. All right. Dressage versus horse dancing. Well... <laughs> Are you doing the same thing? Yeah. Different names. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's I mean, I fully I uh Well, now I'm interested to see like what it's even about. So I um, Well, then show up. I might. I so might show up. Generally, the, the the bar ones are what are they competing for? Like a $150 gift card or something? It's like 400 bucks or something. Yeah. But it's usually just like And every girl that signs up gets uh paid and they get like a uh, bottle bar service. Yeah. yeah. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. Yeah, that's usually what it is. It's usually hot bar rats who want to show off. I, I mean, and I'm not being derogatory. I am speaking from experience. Um, like, she's trying to I compliment you with bar rats, ladies. She's not okay. trying to be derogatory. Who is signing up for a bar pageant show that isn't hanging out at bars? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I see it in the classifieds. I didn't, I didn't even know this was a thing oh, until he mentioned thing. it yesterday. This is a subculture. <laughs> a subculture. Yeah, All right. no, I've been in these. I've been in these. I've judged these. Have you won any? I usually would place. Um, but it was in my younger days. I mm-hmm. was mostly drunk. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what I was saying or doing, but I'm sure it was fun. Um, I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have maps and uh, I believe that our ed- education like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq everywhere like such as and I believe that they should uh, our education over here in the US should help the US um, or should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries so we will be able to build up our future for our children. Mm-hmm. Right. There's Mary Santora from Berea, Ohio, everybody. Thank you, Miss Santora. Tonight at our, what'd you call, bar rat competition. <laughs> and now we go to the judges. Bill Squire, your thoughts on Mary Santora? Well, uh, she's a little too confident for me, if I'm <laughs> going to be honest. <laughs> All this uh, unearned confidence. Yeah. All right, that's well. Not what, that's not what I look for uh, in a contestant. I There's like, usually a wild card or two. There's I like, like confidence in any kind of person. Yeah. So, yeah, I would want to see that. You're going to get an old lady wild card. There's going to be your 70. No, nah, maybe not 70. Like your 50. 61 around. Hard you. living 50. Still mm-hmm. drinks Miller Lights and shoots pool. You're going to have one of Bring those. Bring it on. Yeah. She's got my but she's going to be hot. She's going to be like 50-year-old mom hot. You know, mm-hmm. bar rat hot. And this is a chance for her to get into a bikini in front of people. Yes. Yeah. And then you're going to have, like, your um, overweight, body positive, I don't give a, an F, I want to show everybody what a real woman looks like, you're going to have one but of those. But isn't that all what we're saying is supposed to be, the uh, what you aspire to is body positivity? Yeah. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Is she going to win? No. Right. But that's like, you're going to have these people. You're going to have mostly hot drunk girls is what it's mostly going to be. 
And then there'll be a couple, like I said, like a couple little wild cards. Your old lady, the chubby girl. The, well, uh, given all that, Bill, I guess it's time to tender your resignation. Before I will even- not even be doing that. <laughs> I will be... I will be a fair and only balanced girls? judge. Can men enter? I believe it's just it says Miss ATC, so I Miss don't know. ATC. Yeah, it's called Miss. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. But so yeah. no married women then. I guess so. Mrs. ATC. I'm not the one. I'm not doing the uh, recruiting. I'm I have a feeling judging. that Miss is probably not a title that they're adhering to mm-hmm. like glue. I'm sure there's probably going to be a couple of married ladies in there, yeah. and their husbands will go and cheer them oh, on yeah, as definitely. they should. If you can't count on spousal support, right. In a situation like that, the hot uh, the hot mom is usually also a like a Harley mom. You know what I mean? Do you, are you picturing the right thing? Yeah, like really frizzy bleach blonde yeah, hair. No, I, yeah, I, yeah. I'm going Big to tan. I'm going to Geneva on the Lake this week. Yeah, I'm just seeing them all is. over the place. Yeah, you know what it <laughs> is. You're gonna run into Honey Jackie out there. <laughs> a Honey Jackie is yep. a perfect yeah. wild card Miss ATC yeah. Yeah. entry. A t-shirt that yes. says, "If you can read this, the bitch fell off." Yes, one hundred. No, her shirt says, "I'm the bitch." Yeah, <laughs> with an arrow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dick. Hey, how are you? Happy holidays, buddy. Or happy Memorial Day. I want to... Yeah, it's not really a happy occasion, from... though, is it, Dick? Yeah, I just... Sorry, but I just uh, want to wish my family from where they were from, well, and I miss them. them all because they... You know, I played music up there. I just want You know, to Dick, do you ever call... Wait, wait, wait Dick, you know, Dick, when you call me and say, I want to wish my family, blah, 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 do you ever call them? I haven't talked to... Uh, <laughs> I haven't talked to Carla, my cousin, Olmstead Falls, for she her husband had. Uh, so the uh, theory is that you're her. the theory is that you're talking to them through me through this show. No, 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 no. Uh, Carla usually calls or emails me. Oh, ah, you know, oh I see. Okay, know, emails. So there is contact, yeah, just email. not okay. Yep. Yeah. I, oh, I got a. Uh, let's see. I got some nice shirts, and uh, I found a ukulele at Goodwill for three bucks, and they're going to get me a banjo uke for two bucks at Goodwill, one of the Goodwill stores. How about that? By the way, I keep hearing from people on the morning show that Dick is calling them saying, when is Alan sending my shirt? I got a couple of other things. I got a couple of other things on the priority list, Dick. I have your address, and I'll I'll get a shirt out to you when I have a minute, okay? Okay. I, I don't okay. know why you're I'm calling sorry. them. So, Dick's calling them in the morning, and they're like, I don't know what's no, going on okay, over there. So. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I'm, I just want to let you know. Oh, okay. But, okay. You'll get it to me, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, I'll get oh, it to okay. you, Dick. You, do you have any gigs this weekend, Dick? Yeah, I do. Why doesn't I Dick come one. in and well, judge Miss Around the Corner with you, Bill? 11 o'clock. <laughs> That's what I was <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Dick, can you make it to Lakewood, Ohio at 11 p.m. On, in a uh, couple of weeks? June 7th. On June the 7th. June the 7th? Yeah, would you like to come in and, and be a, a beauty pageant judge with Bill? I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it. I'll, I'll let you know. All right, you let but us I know, okay? What... Yeah, I appreciate it, Alan. I'll just hang tight, okay? You do that. Woody. Bill Dick, Tommy, and Pants. <laughs> Woody. 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 Oh, uh, and I got to take a Get break drunk here. Sue in there, too. Yeah. 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 I will have uh, the